Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we've got a variety of things to show you. As you saw from the intro, we've got some new vehicles, we've got the new Mega Ramp, and we have an awesome Piston Activated Car Lift. So, today we're going to jump right into this here. Now remember, if you want to download anything in my episode, I'll have the world download in the description, and I'll have the vehicles on my workshop, which will also be in the description. And remember folks, if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic, hit that thumbs up button, it helps out my channel, and let's jump right into this. Alright, so I've been thinking about this build for quite a while now. When I was a kid, I had a fascination with Hot Wheels. And if anybody knows, the Hot Wheels sets have gotten really complicated. I was around in the 90s, our Hot Wheels set was just a big ramp that you would clip onto a counter, it rolled down, it hit a, another ramp down at the bottom of it, and you would just basically launch your cars, or sometimes they would have like a loop or something down at the bottom. Uh, obviously that's a little hard to do in scrap mechanic without it being very laggy. So today I built an oversized Hot Wheels Mega Ramp, so we've got that today. Now I didn't forget about the piston update. I'm going to show you guys this new elevator that I came up with to help lift these cars up to the top. And we've got two Hot Wheels here. Now, both of these are the same Hot Wheel, but they have variations. Uh, there's one that's a lot more high-powered, can do stunts in the air, and you've got more of a stock one here. Now, this Hot Wheel is based off of a Hot Wheel that I actually played with as a kid. It was called the Twin Mill. Now, they have several different versions of this, but this is morely based off the older one. It's got the dual engines here. It's just got a uh, really unique look to it, and this was something that I wanted to recreate for you guys. Now as far as the mods being used, basically most of the Durf mods, and it's using the Lord Payne interior mod, which is absolutely stunning by the way. We showcased this last episode, uh, when we had the three vehicles, and by the way, I'll unveil the names towards the end of this episode and show you guys uh, those vehicles once more. But if you didn't check that episode out, that's the concept cars episode, I'll flash up in the top right. But anyways, let's go ahead and show you guys how this all works. Alright, so many of you guys saw my piston update episode, and I was experimenting a lot with how much a piston can truly carry. Now, we could have done this the easy way, and we could have just created some stairs, I could have taken the car on the lift, but I figured, you know what, the piston update's here, let's go ahead and make a huge car lift. Now, initially, my first experiment was just to have this middle arm here, it's five pistons put together, they're extended pretty much to max to get it all the way to the top here. And yeah, that didn't exactly work. Uh, the whole lift actually kind of tipped over and it actually bug splatted the game. It was pretty funny. So I figured, you know what, let's overkill it here. So we have 25 pistons that are going to move this elevator up. Now, if you want to see how these work, I've just got each, I'm going to call these an arm. Each of those are set to a controller here. And you can see the settings. The controller goes all the way up except for the last one. The last piston it's going to stop at 9 blocks because that's going to be even with the top up there. So yeah, all of these activate at once. These are all connected into a centralized logic gate, a XOR gate. And there's several different buttons that can activate this. Now, I was tempted to put this on sensors so when you drive the car up on the lift, it would hit it. But there's not really a that great of a spot for it right now. Uh, I don't want to actually just launch you off the lift or have the car halfway on it. So it is button operated. Uh, we'll probably work on this again at a later time. But yeah, let's go ahead and show you how this works. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into the twin mill. I'll go over these in more detail here in a second. I want to go ahead and go over the lift first. So let's go ahead and close the door here. We're going to drive up on the lift right here. And we're going to ease up. The twin mill's got a, kind of a big nose on it. So sometimes it does bottom out going up that first ramp. So yeah, we're on the lift here. Let's go ahead and open this up. And there's several ways to activate this. There's a button down at the bottom. There's one actually on the lift here. So let's go ahead and hit this. Now the lift is a bit bouncy, as you can see. Uh, it has changed several times. Scrap Mechanic has released several patches for the pistons. And it's kind of a mixed bag. At first, this thing would actually sag. If you look down here, there's these locking arms. Uh, you see the bearing here. So when this thing gets to a certain height, these arms will come up. It makes sure that this thing doesn't fall down. Now, it's changed, like I said, several times with the updates. At first, it was overshooting the platform here. Other times, it was dipping and just slowly going down. So, I don't know. It's kind of weird what it's doing right now. But, yeah, that's the elevator. So, you would pull off here. 
So let's go ahead and pull the car off right over here. And you can see the little lights going off. It's kind of like caution lights here. So yeah, say if you want to go pick up a new vehicle or somebody else needs to use the lift, just hit this button here and it's going to go down. That is awesome. I love those pistons. That is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, you can see we are at the top of the mega ramp. Now we're not going to go down this thing quite yet. I want to go ahead and go over the cars first and then we'll take a couple runs down and show you how this all works. Alright, so the Twin Mill Hot Wheels. These things are absolutely amazing. Now, my first thought was to maybe have one that wasn't powered and kind of make it like a real Hot Wheels track where you have to roll it down the ramp. Uh, but scrap mechanics physics are a little weird to make that actually happen. We did that once with a Pinewood Derby on Multiplayer Monday. Uh, but, yeah, you'd have to have much a much bigger ramp in order to pick up enough speed down at the bottom for that to really happen. So, these are both powered. We've got the stock twin mill here. As you can see, it's got the big beefy engines coming out the front. It's really just ridiculous looking like most Hot Wheels. So you've got that. I think I did a pretty decent job on the body shape. This is a very odd shape. Uh, it's just got this weird pointed rounded off nose in the front. The headlights are in a little bit of a weird spot. And it's just a really unique shape. So it definitely took mods to make this look any bit like the actual vehicle itself. So you've got that, you've got the big exhaust pipes coming out here. Uh, we've got the, I would say these are, yeah, these are different sized wheels. I had to look at that again. I was like, I'm pretty sure the back wheel is bigger than the front wheel, and obviously it is. So you've got that. It's got a full opening hatch because they do have a real version of this. Like in real life, there's a couple pictures that are really cool looking. And it opens up from the back and the motor is in the back here. Uh, let's go and hop up in here. Uh, you can see some of the detailed parts. Uh, the Lord Payne interior mod is absolutely fantastic. You've got the gauges in here. Uh, you've got some of the dolls, the little lever right here. Now, I'm also using the, uh, the Durf Sci-Fi mod because it's got these really sweet seats. So, I think this came out actually pretty good. So, you've got that. The uh, engines are here in the back. You've got one engine for the front wheels, one for the back wheels. It's always good to do that in Scrap Mechanic. That way, if you're having some weird traction issues, you can do that. Uh, suspension design, there's nothing too crazy going on here. It's just a simple stock suspension. And you've got your controllers for the actual little roof hatch here. So let's go ahead and hop into this one. Uh, this one's just got one button. The other one's got probably about five because it's got some extra thrusters on it. So we're just going to hit the one key. Now occasionally this hatch gets stuck. It actually went down that time, so we're good to go. So let's go ahead and get going. Now... On the W key, it does have these four thrusters on the outside. You can see one there to the left, one to the right, and then right in front of the wheels here. Uh, it's kind of actually cool looking. I, I don't know who's mod packed. I think that's part of Derv's mod pack. I could be wrong. But yeah, those actually work really good. To give this thing just a little bit of extra oomph. Now, Scrap Mechanics said they got rid of some of the bounciness, especially on like platforms like the big mega ramp there. Uh, you will notice once I actually take a couple runs down it uh, that it still does bounce a bit. I'm still looking for a way to stop that. I kind of use what I call my downforce thrusters uh, where I put thrusters down to pin the body and the car down to the track. So yeah, we'll go over that here in a second. We're going to make a little bit of a loop around here. I just absolutely love the way these things look. Now, last week I made concept cars that were a little bit more functional. And I think those look good too, but I just love the body style here. It's like a mixture of a classic car and just an over-exaggerated Hot Wheels. Now, I'm also kind of curious what year this Hot Wheel came out. Now, when I was playing with Hot Wheels, it was the 90s. So, but Hot Wheels, I mean, of course, they've been around forever. So I don't really know which year this was released. I just know that there's like several different versions. And like the newer versions look really futuristic looking. Uh, these are look a little bit more classic looking now if you're asking about the cockpit here You cannot see a thing out of it uh, The windows on this car are typically the really dark and tenant uh, And when you do that in scrap mechanic, it makes it just a little bit hard to see out of but still nonetheless It's still pretty cool here. So yeah, this model is pretty basic. It's your stock model Heck you could probably cruise around a town. Uh, this is probably I guess you could say maybe it's street legal I don't know how practical it is, but it's just your standard run-of-the-mill version. It's the modified version that we're about to check out is the one that's got some unique features to it. Alright, so this is my favorite version of this car. Now, the classic kind of bluish color over there, that's what I've seen on a lot of the cars. But I've also seen this kind of green, lime green with the uh, skunk stripes up it. 
I think this thing looks absolutely awesome. Now, as far as body features, it's pretty much the same. The only thing you're going to notice, you'll see some of the Pico thrusters here, and I've got a couple tucked under the car here because Hot Wheels are meant to catch air, and that's exactly what this thing does. Now, I did use the very lightweight parts in order to try to make this thing as floaty as possible. It does hurt the handling a little bit, but it's really good for ramps because you do catch some air. But in Scrap Mechanic, it still seems, even with bouncy suspension, even with a very light vehicle, uh, the air physics, as far as like launching off a man-made ramp, it's still kind of weird. Like, I can launch off a mountain, which will probably do that if I've got one on this map, and I can catch massive amounts of air, but it seems like the ramps, it needs a little bit of assistance. So we've got the back thrusters here. Uh, there's a couple extra behind the wheel that's going to be activated with the four key. Uh, you can see them there. Now the derf thrusters don't actually have jets coming out of them. You just see the light coming off of them there. Alright, as far as your other buttons here, your one key is going to, of course, control the roof hatch. The two key is going to be for front thrusters. And the back key is going to, or the third key is going to be for your back thrusters. Now that's in order to try to do some awesome flips when you're in the air. Or you can hold two and three together to pick the car up. And that kind of helps with the acceleration off the ramp. Now, the car isn't perfectly balanced with weight. There's a couple parts in there that kind of throw it off. Uh, so it doesn't, like, launch perfectly. But if you hit the uh, A and D keys while in air, it actually does some funny things. So let's kind of launch here. And I can hit A, and it tries to flip it over. Though It's almost like it tries to steer it. And how did we do that? We're almost in a tree. Oh, that was almost perfect. Thought we were going to land upside down there. I don't know why it does that though. There's no sideways thrusters. I, I guess just the weight getting tilted over and the tire shifting actually caused it to drift over. But yeah, we're going to go s hit this awesome mega ramp with this car. Now I do warn you, it might take a couple attempts to do it because of just the weird scrap mechanic physics, but we're going to try to hit this thing and catch some air. All right, up the mega ramp we go. We've got the twin mill ready to catch some air here. Now, I want to show you guys something that I am actually completely embarrassed about. So, let's go down this mega ramp just real quick. And I'm going to show you guys. When I built this mega ramp, I started off with the elevator. I started off with the big platform up there. And then I made a big ramp piece. It's held up by two bearings, two free bearings. And it's just leaned over to another platform down here, which actually has the launcher part of the ramp. So, when I was going down, I put this all down. I built a little platform. I hadn't quite built that part of the ramp yet. And I, I walked over here... And I kind of was like, what? There's trees. I'm actually really ashamed here. I mean, I'm just staring at these trees. I was like, man, I really should have built this about 20 blocks over to the right over there. That way I would have had more of a clear exit. So if you don't hit the ramp right, there's a good chance you're going to end up hitting a tree. So let's try not to do that here today. Alright, this is going to be ramp test one. Now, this could be a little bit bouncy. The key to getting down this, especially with a fast vehicle, now a little bit slower vehicle, this is actually a pretty easy ramp to get down. Uh, the key is to hold the W key. Try not to hit the A and D keys because it will throw it off and if it catches a wrong bounce, you're going to fly off the ramp. It's going to be amazing, but it's also going to be a little bit frustrating. So, let's go ahead and ease down. You want to get to the actual ramp part. And then we're going to go ahead and hold W here. I'm not going to try to make too many adjustments. You can see a little bit of the bouncing here. And boom! <laughs> here we go. And we're going to give a little bit of assistance by the thrusters and land on our roof there. Now, as you can see, it's also really strange that the whole fact that it doesn't catch that much air. And we did get a decent amount of speed, and that's a pretty big kicker ramp. So I never really understood that. But we're going to make another run here. And see if we can catch a little bit more. Maybe we can do some back flips or some front flips. Uh, whichever one's a little bit more powerful thruster. And we'll try that again. See if we can get even more air. Okay, so we have a little bit of an experiment going on here. I've actually uh, raised the front suspension up. Maybe it won't compress as much. And maybe we won't get as much bounce going down the hill here. So let's go ahead and drop the canopy here. And let's see, we're going to go off here. I'm going to have to make a little correction here to the left. Don't fly off, car. Don't fly off. Don't fly off. Oh, all right, here we go. <laughs> and can we do the double? Can we do the double? Oh, we just missed the double backflip. Yeah, that's still strange. I'm going to actually take us off a couple of the natural hills, and I'll show you guys just what I mean by it not getting as much air 
as it really should. Now, if you're asking about how steep the ramp is, I have no clue what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of flying around. Let's go ahead and put that back on its lift over here. Yeah, this ramp is actually fairly steep. It gradually goes up. You've got like the eight, I think it's the eight by, or it's eight length slanted blocks, or maybe eight to six to three to a couple two, and then to the ones here at the end. And I think that's about it as far as what I'm using. And that really should be plenty to get it off here. So let's go ahead and we're gonna make one more run at that ramp and see if we can get a little bit different result. I'm gonna try to go even more wide open and hopefully not fly off of it. All right, we are changing it up this time, folks. We are going basically full power on the back engine and we're going one from the top from the front and I've jacked up the thrusters. We need to hit this ramp very fast and I have a feeling this is either going to be a big fail or we might actually get some air this time or at least some big air this time so wish me luck hopefully we could control this going down oh this thing is fast oh it's finicky oh no <laughs> see that's the problem it's the problem of doing that actually you know what we almost got more air starting down the quarter mark of that ramp now the key is just going to be holding on to it all the way down. We're going to have to give that another attempt here. Let's try to get over these rocks. And yeah, I'm going to go up that ramp and we'll see if we can uh, get another good run at it here. All right, time to go on another run down the mega ramp. Hopefully we don't die this time. All right, here we go. Looking good, looking good. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that actually worked. All right, that was actually decent air. We might have to revisit this and make the ramp even bigger. I think if I can move the platform completely back and maybe, maybe twice as big, uh, we might get even more air. It's just challenging to get down the platform, but that was actually pretty impressive that time, especially for a man-made ramp here on Scrap Mechanic. But I want to go bomb a couple of the big hills real quick. We'll do that and then we'll uh, wrap this episode up here. All right, let's just go ahead and bomb this hill. Now, I am going to use my thrusters under it and just kind of see how much this thing flies here. So, let's go ahead and hit this. There we go. See if we can try to steer this thing. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, this thing's so fun. Yeah, this is a fun little nimble vehicle. Uh, like I said, this is going to be available on the workshop for you guys to download if you want to go bomb some hills. Uh, it does work, like I said, fairly well. It's probably not as good handling as my last couple vehicles, the concept ones, but I was kind of dealing with limited space here. But as far as the look of it, I think we nailed this Hot Wheels car pretty good. So if you guys have any suggestions for any other Hot Wheels cars you would like to see built here in Scrap Mechanic, be sure to comment below. Also, if you have any suggestions for any piston builds, also comment below about those because I'm looking for new challenges to do with those every day. But anyways, the last thing we're going to do, I'm going to go pull out the concept vehicles and I'm going to go ahead and reveal the names to you guys. Alright, we are here with the concept cars and that is no pun intended to con, I just, I, they just came out that way. <laughs> so, there was some really good names and it was really hard for me to even choose. A lot of people uh, had just some abbreviations and called them the gorilla cars because it actually, once you think about it, it does look like a gorilla, especially when it stands up. And like it's on all fours and it's kind of tilted forward looks really strong so I've seen those I also saw some really cool names called like the Kraken the Godfrey and the Zeus and which the Zeus that actually sounds really cool so I think we're gonna go with a mixture of all of them I really don't want to for sure name these things uh, I really do like the Zeus for the big off-roader here I do like something like I would call it Morley. The, the Godfrey sounds pretty good. Uh, that was a highly voted on one. And I also do like the name Kraken. Now, Kraken to me seems like it should be something also kind of big. So maybe the racer will be the Kraken. And maybe the normal model could be the Godfrey. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but you can take your own spin on it. You can name it whatever you want. But I just want to thank you guys for uh, support, uh, jumping in and commenting. And let me know what you want, wanted to call this. But anyways, folks, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Now, if you're going to ask where the town is, uh, currently with the Scrap Mechanic Test Branch, the town, I'm afraid to go work in it because they said if you do mess with any pistons or anything, it can demolish your map, and I really don't want to do that to the town right now. So that's why we don't have a town episode at the moment. But we will come back with some more Scrap Mechanic builds, probably work with some more pistons, and just overall just have some fun with you guys. 
But don't forget to go join the Steam group down below. You can go get access to these vehicles. Uh, I interact with you guys a lot on that. So if we want to maybe set something up or if you have creations you want to send over or if you want to get the latest news on videos, definitely do uh, join that down below. But anyways, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Scrap Mechanic. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.